Hey y'all, hey. So, um, I know initially I said I wasn't going to do probably no more than like one video a week, but I had to do this one because I was like, you know what, let me go on this motivating walk um, because my HOA think I'd be bull crapping when I say I walk around in my neighborhood and I see stuff that's out of place, but yeah, I constantly keep getting fines or courtesy, air quotes, courtesy, courtesy notices in the mail about my lawn. Now... I was going to wait till we got to the front because, like I said, we're walking and it's going to be a bit. But um, we have already passed quite a few lawns where uh, you would say debris, which would be the leaves in the yard or the grass isn't cut. Did they get fines? Did they get courtesy notices? Even though, you know, the lady only comes around here whenever she feels bored and only picks with certain houses but i just wanted to come on here and just show exactly what the bs that i have to go through when it comes to uh all-in-one management living here at reserve at the miller's creek now i will say um shoot i can't even flip the damn camera around okay my bad so i will say we're about to walk past a house where you're definitely gonna be able to, nah, where are you going? This way, thank you. That's it, up to the front, up to the front. So, my bad. So, um, I have my kids, because as y'all clearly see, I'm walking with my kids, and we walk in, like I said, my subdivision, but once more again. So where's the fine and notice about that house over there with all their stuff in the back? Where's the fine, where's the notice? Because they have stuff in their yard. Where is it? Please tell me. Where is it? Where is it? I bet you they don't have one. And we're on Rutland. Everything, mind you, everything in this subdivision is called Rutland. Um, whether it be Rutland Court, Rutland Pond. So, yeah, we're on the main road to get you out of this subdivision. And the house that I just showed you, that one is, their address is 5649. As you can clearly see on the mailbox. Only if I can zoom in. But anyway, can't zoom in. Here's another house behind next to that one. Look at all the stuff that's in that yard. All of it. You see it? I just want to make sure. I'm not tripping. All the stuff in their yard. So did they get a fine and notice about leaves dropping? Lawn maintenance? Mind you, that's the house next to the one I just told you. Oh, wait a minute the house next to that one. <laughs> oh, where are these fines at where so that house that i just said that hey you know they had stuff in the yard that's five six five one once more again another house i ain't even bullcrapping y'all another house another 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 house right stuff in their lawn and that looked like that been there for a little bit because that's not leaves that just fail, especially not the leaves in the driveway. That house is 5653. 5653. Right, right, right. So, those are ones with lawn issues. Like I said, I'm, I'm pointing everybody out. So, and of course, we got, they for some reason like to peek in people's backyards, but as you can clearly see, like there's even stuff in that backyard over there. But that's this house that's coming up right now. That's stuff in their backyard. So, um, there's stuff in their backyard. Like, so the way that the HOA all in one communities is pretty much going about this because, um, I've been dealing with them. I've been living in this subdivision for three years. Bought my house in 2017. Um, my bad. The house that I just showed you with that backyard is 5658. And then 5657, they also got some stuff in their backyard as well. Um, but like I was back to the main thing. So I've been living here for the last three years. And the last three years, I've been pretty much harassed by the HOA. So now I was just like, you know what? Fluff it. I need to figure out something to get them like off my case, situated, whatever the case may be. So even 5659, they have stuff in their yard. 5659, all that, yep, leaves and stuff you see in the back. And then their neighbor right next door, as you see, yep, 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 
They got shit in their grass. What is going on? But yet the HOA wants to bug me every goddamn month about some daggone lawn maintenance. Oh, okay. So, like I said to them months before, I was uh, I was the vice president, I mean, sorry, I was the secretary on the board for all-in-one communities uh, for my HOA. But because of Miss Tilly, when I kept telling her, like, hey, I'm a, I'm a board member here. Y'all are finding, y'all are giving me these courtesy notices, but I'm confused on, like, what are you giving me a notice on? I can show all the email thread with that crap, too, so... And she hit me with some BS talking about some, oh, the debris right there, that's weeds and stuff. First of all, I just pulled up, legit, if y'all would have saw, if you would check out my Instagram page, you would see that how the way I had to take out four bushes on one side, and then I replaced, after I dug up the bushes and got them out the front of the house, I pretty much laid down some, um, some stuff and then put down some rocks. Like, okay, it's appeasing. I had a great little curb appeal. Clearly, they still want to satisfy that, so they kept nitpicking with me or whatever. Now, this I would consider your perfect lawn, almost in a sense. But as you do see, there's a cop back there. But um, I would consider that, like you know, my perfect, your perfect lawn. You know what I mean? Perfect lawn. So, almost in a sense, because you know everything's together, everything's whatever. Um, nothing's out of place, but nothing's ever really out of place. You saw who lives there, right? The cops, the feds. Of course, the shit's gonna be, gonna be together. So. That one's five, six, six, fifty-six, sixty-seven. Sorry. So, and then we have a few other houses. Like, yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. Ain't really much um, to do for their houses up here. But like I said, everything in this little subdivision is Rutland. It's Rutland, the Rutland Court, Rutland Southwest, Rutland Ave. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Or um, just Rutland, whatever. So, I'm doing a walk in my neighborhood just to pretty much say like okay so now we're about to cross this intersection so i'm gonna show you exactly so we were we're on rutland drive okay now if you see that so rutland drive and then the other one is rutland way the one up top rutland way so rutland drive rutland way we gonna go down rutland way real quick and see about the neighborhood and i met the neighbors in that neighborhood so like i said because i'm gonna walk down and I want the HOA to know, like I know crap live in this neighborhood and I don't care how many videos that I have to post but for you to constantly get at me and my house and the folks that, that are in that little corner where we live at before you get out of our subdivision till you go to the next subdivision that's right next to us. That's all, all of a walk, hop, skip and a jump. Legit, it's a walk um, away from us. Like why? We ain't next to be on the, I mean, granted, we bought the houses on the end, but we ain't next for y'all to be, like, all up in our day on business and then always giving us some type of notification or some type of notifying or whatever. I ain't gonna be nitpicky, but this house right here, yeah, you got stuff on the back. So, um, but you can even see what that one is. That's 56, uh, 75, 76. All right, now, we're gonna walk that back to the corner of Rutland Drive, I thought I said, yeah. Now we're going to go to Rutland Way. Let's see how many discrepancy houses do we see on Rutland Way. And this is exactly what I want to say. Because when I did have access to go and look at the fines and uh, violations, not every house, when I re repeat me, listen to me when I say this, okay? Not every house in this subdivision that rated a courtesy got a courtesy. Like, I think the lady that is driving around in her car with no type of, hey, I am work for all-in-one management, because the lady was liable to um, get the cops called on her. Because, in fact, you stop in in somebody's neighborhood and you're just snapping photos. Who the fuck are you? Excuse my French. But who is you? Because you have nothing that says that you're all-in-one. You're riding around in your personal vehicle. So how do I not know you're not taking pictures of my child? Who's still not to say just because you work for an agency or, or a company that you ain't taking pictures of my child and trying to exploit my child over the dark web? Nobody says that. So, and there's no proof that you are doing what you say that you're doing with these supposed photos because I'm pretty sure you're not just taking one photo. I'm pretty sure. So, <clears throat> we're walking down Rutland Way. <laughs> I'm sorry, that took a lot. <laughs> 
but Rutland Way houses look um pretty pretty decent for the most part pretty decent like I said this is about to be a whole commentary of my walk on these folks because when I say they be if you ain't if your backyard isn't fenced in they be all trying to find angles and whatnot ways to like take pictures of your house and whatnot and whatever little finds the little discrepancies that they may find or whatever the case may be so the only thing I could possibly see is that they're bushes that's it but I mean shit even my bushes ain't main but uh their bushes need to be main that's about it their bushes and 5 7 21 their bushes also need to be main that's about the only thing I can really see that's wrong I mean this next house that's on ways just has leaves in it but I'm pretty sure by them a little speck of a leaves they won't get no type of kinds of notifications in the mail except for well I hope that y'all uh, go take care of that exactly what that is that's the Adam I'll hook you up boy and I'm gonna be a Adam hook you up with this video because like I said initially my goal was not to post on here every day or more than once a week but because my HOA is not working that last nerves and I want to make sure that I put this out there for the world to see because when I have to go take that bus to court I want to show proof in evident that hey um I live in a subdivision one two you up here giving some folks notifications of discrepancies in their home um on their lawns but that's the funny thing because y'all would say oh well she's probably only coming once a week or once a month no boo boo there was one month where i got two fines in a month two which all that tells me is the lady walks she drives around here probably pretty frequently um maybe maybe even once a week and be like hmm this week i got this person for this or today i got this person for that right and like i said if we were to log into this back portal that only the employees of all in one have access to as far as management or all of those that are part of the HOA board that have access and purview to you would no crap look and see that every house that is here in uh, the reserve at the Millers Creek subdivision is getting these notifications like they're supposed to I've already seen quite a few houses on just Rutland freaking uh what was this drive and they weren't on there but I guarantee you, once this video surfaced, I bet you they're miraculously, miraculously. And mind you, everything's always freaking date stamped by the internet. So please know. And people can lie and forge their way through fucking life. I'm pretty sure all in one company can lie and forge their way to make it seem as if they're right. But that's why I have this video to document to say, <laughs> where is she? Where are the fines? Where are the notifications? The courtesy air quote courtesy notifications now mind you i told you this house over here you see they got stuff in their yard too and it's not as bad but it's pl still plenty enough now the next street that we're going to go to is uh rutland way i'm sorry rutland drive and rutland circle southwest yep turn down this other cul-de-sac like i said rutland way i'm mean, sorry rutland <laughs> Sorry, Rutland Circle and Rutland Drive. Now, mm, houses don't look too bad over here. And granted, I'm not the HOA screening guru, but what I will do is I'll point out miniature discrepancies that I know they hit other homes on. Um, for example, plants growing in the gutters or bushes not being named, tamed. Um, so, like, this house over here, you can tell that the grass is, in the back is like, it's cut, but it's not cut. So what's really going on here? What's going on? What's really going on? Um, like I said, we could do this all day, all day long. <sighs> Bushes, leaves, leaves, leaves. Now get it. It's fall. It's the 19th of October. So, with that being said, right? Today's the 19th? Dang! 
My bad. And you've been working all day and you just realize what day it really is. It's the 19th. So, with it being the 19th. Yeah, that's all in one person's yard. Come on. But pretty much everybody except for one house over here had discrepancy. And of course, it would be the house on the corner. They don't have any discrepancy. But all the other houses in this cul-de-sac, they had discrepancies between leaves in the yard and, um, yeah, leaves in the yard, bush done main, bush not maintained. Like, when I say these are no crap notifications in which I've received and I'm just only going off about what I received and not, oh, well, your, your, your shit's not power. Your side, your driveway or your sidewalk is not power wash because they give out those type of notifications too. And that's when they reach in. And because they just reach in, keyword reach in, reach in to try to get somebody fined. Why? We are hard earned work. We are hard workers that earn our paychecks. And this lady has nothing better to do but drive around in her little car um, and take pictures of people's homes as if though she ain't got nothing else better to do. Nothing else better. Nothing. So, um, but like I said, next time I'm just gonna walk. And whatever family members I see out. I'm going to have my mask on, and I'm going to talk to them. Because honestly, at the end of the day, we all need to come together as homeowners and get this homeowners association out of the subdivision because they are not doing their job whatsoever. So, here's a fun, funny, little, nice little fact. Fun little fact here. So, of course, we all pay HOA, right? We pay HOA dues. So, with paying HOA dues, your money is supposed to, they're supposed to tell you where your money goes, right? They said for landscaping. Well, before they put up any type of new type of structure, they're supposed to get it approved. First of all, there's a structure that they just put up. I can't even say just. Maybe it's been up there for maybe about a month now. Um, but there's a structure that they put up. And I don't remember seeing no email across, um, coming across my board. Um, across, coming across. Talking about some, hey, can we put up a freaking... Um, a little post that shows the, um, at the other entrance where I live at that hey this is also reserved at the Miller's Creek and once you pass this locate once you pass this point you're now at Miller's Creek I did tell you there was two subdivisions in one so we have two subdivisions in one area and then with those two subdivisions in this one location one pays HOA and the other one don't guess who pays reserve at the Miller's Creek we pay um but like I said, we going to come back across the same houses that I've already told you that pretty much they uh they just need, you know, where, where their courtesy notices and, and fines and whatnot. But yeah, we pay for landscaping. But yeah, we got leaves and whatnot. This ain't nobody's house. Now, mind you, this is nobody's lot. So where's the maintenance? Where's the maintenance when it comes to our lawn care that we are paying for? Where is it at? That's all I want to know. Where? Where, 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 where? And with that being said, why are we paying HOA if no crap, they're not even taking care of the deck on lawn? They're not taking care of the deck on maintenance. But yet you want me to stay on my grass? You want me to stay on mine? Mm-mm. You don't stop it. Stop it. So we're walking back, like I said. And this says, you see all this right here? This belongs to supposedly the property managers, which is all in one because they're nothing but property managers from after doing some research. Um, HOA uh, board members are supposed to are um, per the bylaws and covenant. The HOA board members are supposed to be members that live or residents that reside in. Oh, should he sleep? Mm -hmm. Hey, don't do that, Tim. Um, it's supposed to be members that reside here in the subdivision but because my little one is asleep i'm gonna walk down one more way and then i'm turning my butt back home but trust and believe there will be more videos on the other houses that i wasn't able to get that's in the same day on subdivision honestly i only have like two three three cul-de-sacs literally legit you know what fluff it i got three more cul-de-sacs to walk so my baby already sleep so it's all good gucci bandana Next. Now, 
The cul-de-sac that we're about to walk into is the end of Rutland Drive. Okay? So, the intersection is Rutland, Rutland Drive Southwest and Rutland Passageway Southwest. So, hello, good you. So, um, what I was saying, so the HOA is like Nick picking, Nick, Nick picking. So, with that being said, like, this is nobody's property. Nobody's. Like, that part right there is nobody's property. But what happened to HOA taking care of it? What happened to them? But yet they want to get on everybody about what's going on in their yard, and yet they can't even take care of our property? Bruh, stop. Like I said, so for this one, it's not really much. Because, I mean, everybody's pretty much, you know, they probably they got the fines or the notice. And, like I said, it's over the weekend. So, you can tell the difference when somebody actually did something to their house over the weekend. Why is it somebody that did nothing at all? See what I'm saying? Because then you have, like, all those leaves that, granted, you can't see. You can see, but you can barely see in the background. You know what I mean? So, here, Christian, push your brother, please. So, um, with that being said, yeah, this walk right here, mm-hmm, I'm going to make it known and evident. See, and it's one house we're about to come up on. I don't know, maybe it's up for sale or something, but you can tell the grass hasn't been cut. You can. You can tell that the grass has not been cut. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they did move out, but... Granted, then they wouldn't have nobody to, to give a notice to. But 5628, their grass not cut. Nor is their bushes made. See, the grass isn't cut. Bushes isn't made. Maintained. Tamed. Maintained. So, and so, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can look at this house. Their bushes. Not maintained. You see that in the back? All the bushes growing up top? not maintained not at all they're not maintained so i'm just saying where does hoa get the right to just nitpick at certain folks when literally i don't walk past almost every freaking house on almost on in this block on this subdivision where there's some type of discrepancy whether it be bushes unmaintained right there mm -hmm. or grass not cut or leaves in their yard and like I said, you could tell the difference from when a leaf or when leaves have fell, like maybe possibly today, uh, or if I says leaves has been falling and they've just been sitting there. You can tell the difference. Um, so just FYI. So got one more, I'm sorry, got two more cul-de-sacs to walk up and down. No, because that one says private property, so I would have said three, but that one actually says private residency. Private residency. You don't yeah. see how. That's where the seniors live. The seniors? Yeah, when me and Jacob went down there to uh, turn in money last year, uh, every house we went to, they had seniors. Oh, well, that makes sense why they're like, don't disturb these folks because they're, they're old. They don't need the stresses that you're trying to give us young folks that live in the subdivision makes sense but no crap but you see all the mailboxes like down that way yeah it says private property within the subdivision <laughs> which i thought was kind of funny but um but yeah so like i said you see some leaves fail with this house and this house actually right here is i think either the president or vice president i think it's the vice president because our vice president is black so and our president is white for the board so and that's only if they they switched up folks so um that's them and then we about to come across another yard where it literally like no crap no cap autumn leaves autumn leaves back there but don't worry i'm gonna get closer mm. just so i can show up close and personal when I say it, I really feel like whoever this lady is that's taking these photos or HOA, she's only nitpicking at certain people. Because I promise you and I guarantee you, if she was to come, like today, 
or she was to come probably tomorrow or any time this day gonna week i guarantee see look you can't hide all that that's all fell leaves first of all let me tell you something it was not windy this weekend it was not and on top of that not that many leaves could have fell now if it was leaves that decided to fall it'd be something like this something like that all right that's when i say like you could tell whether or not if you know somebody's if leaves fell whether it's been today maybe a little yesterday well vice is when you got a slew of leaves and i get it you got a tree but um, uh, everybody else with trees ain't got that much stuff in their front yard just fyi go to sell like this yard right here that's well made that's nice i like it it's nice mind you we're on rutland passage way southwest rutland pass Southwest, sorry. So for the most part, you know, everybody looks pretty fairly decent. You know, a few uh once more again bushes maintained. Um because like I said, I got a notice for that, a courtesy notice on my son. Your bushes need to be uh maintained. When I say bushes need to be maintained, like you see you see the, the, the new 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 the new new that's growing on them bushes that need to be trimmed. Like everybody has that. So are you literally gonna give a fine to everybody? Everybody that has new new freaking uh bushes for new trimmings that come up. Are they gonna get a fine everybody? No, because I'm here to tell you, I am on the board and they don't and they didn't. Once more again, this is my documentary to show what bs my hoa is pretty much saying well this is what we do no it's really not because if you really did your job almost everybody in here and what you're nitpicking at certain people for you should nitpick at everybody for and they everybody should have some type of courtesy notice but everybody that resides at reserve in miller creek does not i repeat does not get courtesy notice And then on top of that, after you even try to fix the courtesy notices and like send them pictures and verification that, hey, I did my part, that I did what you asked me to, like legit, that's how the way I wound up with like two, two notice, new, two notifications in one month. Like I fixed one thing, the lady came back out maybe like a week or two later and was like, this is what else is wrong with your house. First of all, weren't you just out here? How you gonna say there's something else wrong with my home? With my home, but you looking from the street version from the street side, but yet when you went and took the picture, you only identified one discrepancy. Not both discrepancies at the same time, but one discrepancy. And we I'm gonna tell you what the two discrepancies were. One was pine noodles around the tree, which I've never, ever, 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 ever had pine noodles or mulch around my freaking tree for the third last three years that I've been here. So when I got a notice about it, I was like WTF I've lived here for the last three years I've never got a notice or a fine or whatever the case may be when it came to um putting mulch or pine needles around my tree then literally when I sent that email to say about the pine needles and whatnot I got another what's facing the mail talking about some well your porch need to be painted well guess what lady I've been to the porch need to be painted but you didn't send that with the same day going notice with the pine trees with the pine needles around the tree so is that harassment or not Harassment or not. So we're just getting done with um, Rutland Passage, Southwest. The last and final cul-de-sac, which I think I just might let my little one just go in the house and get the baby and get the other one settled. Um, Cause it is getting kind of late and I know we done walked this thing. Like it ain't nobody's business. And I only got one more cul-de-sac left. But I really need to get my little one ready. So <sighs> this isn't over HOA. I'm going to come back for tomorrow and even identify the other folks because my little one is tired and done fell asleep on me. I'm going to put my family first and go put their best to bed. But trust and believe, this is not over. All in one, Millers Creek, reserve, sorry, reserve at the Millers Creek because between the HOA um, property manager and the board, because like I said, I'm on the board and as a board, to be honest with you, we ain't do Jack Diddley squat. And we ain't send out no newsletters. 
We ain't sending out no notices saying, hey, this is what the HOA is looking for when they're trying to send out these funds or whatever the case may be. Um, we didn't send out nothing to say, hey, this is what's important to us. Nothing. Or what's important, we, which we voice to the... And that may be just our fault. But as homeowners in this subdivision, the members of the board are not really doing anything. Except for, oh, that person needs to be fine? Fine they asses. That's not the right way to go about it. But then, of course, everybody wants to be freaking email snipers or fucking social media or not even social media. It's more so write stuff through the inner email and try to be all snappy with it. But when somebody's telling you, like, hey, you're giving me a freaking fine for $800 and it doesn't work with my family situation. And literally for you to be on the board and say you don't give a fuck, that's a problem. Like, how are you going to be on the board and you also live in the same day on subdivision. So let me guess. If the same thing was to happen to you, you'd be like, don't push on no pity on me. I don't give a fuck. Shoot, I rated up them freaking, I wrote up them freaking uh, late fees and charges and X, Y, and Z. So why would I, uh, why would I try to plead my case? You never know somebody's situation. So for you to think that you know somebody's situation and just and say it through email, that's shitty. That person been new. Why are they going to wait till after they get fines occurred? Because people are busy. I don't know about some of y'all, but some folks did still had to work during COVID. COVID. So not everybody was able to stay home. So they don't know what this person's situation was. So for you to be a board member and say that you don't care about what's going on in this person's life. And it acts as if though like, oh wow, an $800 uh, fine is going to help us. How is it $800 fine going to help the board, the HOA board? Please explain to me. How is that going to help the HOA board when you literally finding folks and legit some of these fines are BS. They're BS. I literally almost got a fine even after I already told the lady, like I told you, about Dagon Mulch from a tree. I'd even, I'll even show you the Dagon email. You tripping, lady? was my exact words to Miss Tilly Bean down in all in one community freaking I was like um unless you or the HOA decides to play uh to pay for me to put mulch or pine noodles in my yard y'all smoking crack I'm not doing that and then legit literally the next month I got a fine in the mail talking about some oh well you never put pine noodles or mulch around your tree first of all I've been living here for the last three years what are you talking about putting fine, uh, uh, pine noodles and mulch around my tree when there was never mulch or pine noodles around my tree? So this is where I say the HOA is not needed. It's injustice. It's being whoever this female is. She, one, is coming off as racist because not to bring color into it. But honestly, everybody that lives on my corner, we're not his, we're non white. I have an Asian family. I have a black family that's renting, that's across. I have another black family that, um, that's adjacent to me that owns their house. Of course, the family next that's on my right, um, they're black. And then me, of course, black. And then the family that's on the end of the coldest, uh, on the end of our road, that where it considers the reserve at Miller's Creek, they're Hispanic. So why is it that when I looked up, us up, all five of us as a as a houses not the older folks because the only reason why the folks on i think the right of me that are black they don't get nothing because they're older they really are they're older they're older they're they're an older couple shall i say so and this is all raw so if i'm stuttering whatever the case may be gonna be a nazi about it i'm not here to like make friends or whatever i'm just stating out facts so unless somebody knows something that I don't know, then please enlighten me. Because for me to be a first-time homeowner and to be harassed the way that I'm being harassed by HOA, like, this would make anybody not want to be a homeowner. Like, for real. But only because I'm very strong-willed. And if you haven't told, <laughs> because of my <laughs> and because of my mentality, you're not, no, you're not about to run me up out of here. If anything, I'm going to run you up out of here. So, and I'm going to figure out the legal way of doing it, too. Because I'm not going to play this tit for tat crap so this is what i'm talking about so that house right there is a black family this house right here is a black family that house over there they're renting they're a black family and then of course my family that's on this corner where you see the pickup truck that is the last of the house on this block they're hispanic and then of course the other family that has 
the pickup truck that's on that end they're hispanic i mean they're sorry they're asian so and go ahead the keys are in the stroller you can take them in and so this is the the little hoo my last little thing and i promise you, i'm gonna get off my damn soapbox <clears throat> sorry for all the the curse words that may have been in here but i'm working on my vocabulary um so so for the little hoo that i was telling you about that we never agreed to that they put up like a month ago and i'm pretty sure that's probably why our dues are going up this year too is this little thing right here that they put up um it's cute don't get me wrong it's cute by far but uh who said to spend our money on this so this right here is what hoa literally spent our money on and it says reserve at the miller's creek when i say this was literally just put here not even a month ago like and before that because as you can see where they kind of like did some type of i don't know what to call it but they had somebody come out here cut the grass because grass was just getting crazy over here like wicked crazy like tall and everything so they paid somebody to come out here cut that or whatever and like i said so i don't know if you can see it but the trash can is all the way up there that's when we start the other subdivision uh miller's creek like i said there's two subdivisions in one so once you get down to that street where that trash can is you're at miller's creek but once you get over here where you see that little wacko little old sign that probably costs us about what maybe eight hundred dollars to a thousand dollars um once you get to that sign right there now you're in the reserves at miller's creek and we all pay hoa in here and we are all subject to uh whatever hoa discrepancies that they may have or feel that they may deem is unwanted so just a little quick when i say hey we keep getting picked with so my neighbors here they got hoa hit them um hit them notify them like hey you need to paint your house whatever right but why if that's been the color of their house before they painted that color the color of their house before they did it whatever um the neighbors over here past the uh the challenger they got a notice in the mail they got a notice because of the basketball court the little basketball hoop that you see all the way you probably yeah you can see it so it's right there boop 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 see when it's bad psh, 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 there we psh, ah, psh, there we go basketball hoop <laughs> so that basketball court over there they got a fine in the mail so first it was a notice saying hey you need to put a new net up there the individual said okay hey i'll take care of it then uh, over time because this same young lady or older lady that drives around the neighborhood and all she does is take pictures well she kept racking up them fines so they eventually got up to 800 dollars in fines over a basketball court that they had already identified and said hey i'm gonna take care of that so who's really running the um violations nobody's annotating anywhere saying hey they were violated you wrote them down for this violation this month so why don't you go and check and see if they took care of it and if they didn't take care of it then yes give them a fine but if they did take care of it or at least they let the office know like hey we're planning on taking care of it why are you still writing them a fine please explain to me make it make sense riddle me that batman so somebody anybody who's ever had to deal with an hoa that legit all they did was just write you fines and notices in the mail and making your life a living hell as if though you don't already have enough stuff on your plate you have to go to work you work about a good maybe 12 16 hours a day go home then you have to be a parent or go home and freaking be a spouse and or go home and tend to your to your fur babies and then all of a 